Mr. Egan, we've had some flack from our first nose job video. People say it's not a very serious way to show what IBM was actually asked to do. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. Um, the thing that IBM was asked to do was to install the database. Mm. Um, the job of actually finding out how the database should be installed, what options should be in there, what parameters should be set, was done by me beforehand. And that took a month. So, so the, the paper that IBM got to, to do the job was install the database, change these two parameters, click finish. I had made an entire list of what to do. So it was basically a next, next, next uh, installation type. And I think the criticism is based on that, well, the difficult thing is not to install the database. And that's correct. It's not difficult to install a database. The, the thing that takes time is, is the precursor thing that where you think about how it should be set up and after you install the database where you say, okay, so how do I design this thing for the application? The only thing IBM was asked to do was the tiny part of installing the database because we did not have access to the machines. The only reason why IBM was asked to do this. And I gave them a piece of paper with basically eight steps and listed the two parameters that need to be changed, and that was it. 50 hours, sir. Huh? 50 hours. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, and welcome to the second unconventional Oracle install done by Miracle Personnel. I have three things to tell you before we start. The first thing is, lots of people have complained that their noses, especially if they are hard-nosed individuals, uh, hit two or three keys at the same time. So for that purpose we have constructed a gadget in the right color which can be used to hit just one key at a time. It's available for download on our website. The second thing is we have an intern 14 year old named Daniel in this week and we'd like to give him the chance to do a Oracle install on video at the same time. Daniel? Hi, my name is Daniel Christensen. During my visit here at Miracle, I've tried to install and deinstall an Oracle database. My experience with this is that it's very quick and easier to install than you might think. Thank you, Daniel. Go to work. And the third thing is, this time we will try to address some of the criticisms that we got from our first video. The criticisms included that we did not spend time allocated, allocating space on SANS, and we didn't spend time setting up backups. And so this time we're doing it on a four or five node cluster with a SAN underneath it. Morten? Thank you. And yes, I'll just start out by actually allocating the space on the SAN. changed all the file locations so they are located on the lung on the sand that I have allocated. Done installing my Oracle database. It took me 26 minutes. So, there you 
you have it a database on installed and just to make sure that you guys can see that I've actually put the data files on the uh, SAN I'll just select where the data files are located So there you can see that the files are located on the F drive, which was the uh, 10 gigabyte LUN that I allocated on the SAN. So uh, let's try and uh, put this into RMAN, so we have registered the database for backup. So uh, that was just a connection test to make sure that my RMAN database is up and running and that I can connect to it. I am now completing the uh, backup creation. I'm creating a catalog, and now I will register the database for backup. And that's it, when I've done that, we're finished. So that's it, the database created. I've allocated space on a SAN instead of just local disk. It's installed on a, on a real server instead of a laptop. It's uh, been added to an RMAN database backup catalog. And uh, I've registered the database for backup. So that's it. And although I didn't take time, I'm pretty sure it took less than 50 hours. Thank you.